Uh, also want to let you guys know that I cannot get behind the new Miami Vice. Shout out to Jimmy Fox. Shout out to Colin Farrell. I'm, I heard some good reviews and some bad reviews. Great. If you do not have Philip Michael Thomas in the movie, it ain't my Emmy Vice. He was a legend in the 80s. A legend. The curly head light skin dude, oh, he was killing in the 80s. Philip Michael Thomas must be in the movie, even if he has a big role. Because if he ain't, if he ain't Tubbs, it ain't Miami Vice. You call it what the hell you won't call it. That is Tubbs. His name is Philip Michael Thomas. Y'all might not remember who he is, but he was a legend. He was a star, and he is the original Tubbs. You can't have no Tubbs if it ain't him. I can't get behind Blues I want to let you know, Carmen Electra and Dave Navarro are splitting up. What does that mean? Floozies get on her. I only have two words for you for why you should jump on Carmen Electra. Pussycat dolls. Mmm. That section. Oh, she's beautiful. No, 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 no. What the, 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 the breasts and the body? Fine. Pussycat doll. That is sexy. She made that group. I'm sure she got a vested interest in that. Oh, yes. She's cooping the money. You need to holler at her. Holler at her. Uh, Miss Universe. Miss Universe of Puerto Rico. Who cares? You know what's bad about Miss Universe? And so that you can just tell a Latin girl's gonna win. Here we are watching the end of it. I missed the whole show. It was five girls left. The, I said, dun, 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 the Latin girl's gonna win. I don't know what country she's from, she's gonna win. That's Miss Puerto Rico, she's the winner. Five minutes later, Miss Puerto Rico! Do the other girls even have a chance? Why don't you just have like the Miss Universe of the Latin America and then give like five girls each country and then really have a banging, you know, that's what we need. All the Czechoslovakians and all that, they're wasting their money. There shouldn't be a girl from Czechoslovakia coming over here. That, that should go to the bread fund. I don't know if there's enough bread some of them countries over Eastern Europe. Put it in the bread fund and let's just have seven Venezuelan girls in the damn Miss Universe. That's what we need. That's what we need. All right. We are at the end of another episode of the show show. And, and I, just, I, I have to talk about when we all finally got together in the show show family last weekend filled up. Usually when everybody gets together, I'm I, I'm sorry I can never make it on the road. I'm always in the house editing another show. But I was able finally to meet people because it was this nasty rumor that I wasn't a real person, that I was a computer program, and I had to end it. We were at the Reef Lounge, you know, 007 with DJ. And you see this guy here? Let me tell you, let me try to explain to you how this brother here was turning the pate out. You understand? I get there first. This brother is by himself in the middle of the dance floor. He got on a vest, right, with rhinestones around the collars, right? Like pastel flowers going down the front and the back, no shirt on, and just spinning. Just, like, not to the rhythm, not to anything, just spinning in the middle of the dance floor. Spinning. When everybody else gets there, he's still spinning. Like, and he's having a great time. He's having so much of a good time that nobody else can have fun because he's so deranged on the dance floor. I mean, not to mention the fact that he has one of them 1992 boxes where it's rounded in the back, yet it goes straight up and it sits like six inches off the top of his scalp. I mean, he looked crazy. And we was having a hell of a time laughing at him. I mean, even when there was dances, songs that have dances, Shoulder Lean came on. There's a specific dance, you know, you snap your fingers. He while he was doing this, oh, he just kept spinning. Woo! Woo! He just kept spinning all over the dance floor. Then, I wasn't even gonna talk about him before he did this move. My man is dancing, boom, boom, tum, 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 and just does this, boom, 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 bah. Literally pauses on the dance floor for 15 seconds, like an Elvis pose. And his face was so sincere, like he believed in his dance. Wow. And at that point, I had given up. Everybody just got off the floor, the whole damn club. Everybody just left the floor down. 
Because the whole place was like, I, I can't mess with him. I said, the brother just paused. N not on beat or anything, he just stopped what he was doing. Like, he just had a brain fart. And just paused. And just started dancing again. The whole floor in. Oh, man. The next time we have we have a show, show family get together, I want everybody there. I might not be there, but I want everybody else there. There are two more stories in this week's off the call. One I just had to get to, um... There was an 80-year-old man. This is my crazy, you know, altar call story of the week. An 80-year-old man in Pittsburgh named Felix Kogelchuk. Something like that. 80-year-old man. Who was arrested? I couldn't believe he was arrested. He was arrested for soliciting prostitutes. But he really wasn't arrested just for soliciting prostitutes. Because he was paying the prostitutes in crack he was selling crack and making crack so that he could sleep with prostitutes and I think at the age of 80 we shouldn't hold that against him this is a free market enterprise in this country he was just having fun he's 80 let him out of all the people selling crack all around the country y'all won't mess with him so he sold a little dope to a couple girls, get a little time. So what? Free Felix. Free Felix. Go on in Pittsburgh. Free him. He don't deserve to be locked up for that. He's 80. If anybody wants to sleep with an 80 year old man, if crack is, look, if crack is dangerous, because if prostitutes are sleeping with 80 year old men, this is never, woo! Keep that stuff away from me, boy. That's dangerous. But release Felix. And the last story is. I'm proud of all the members of Enon Baptist Tabernacle Church moving to our new church building this week. Um, you know, we had a, like three, our congregation was so freaking big now, it was like six, seven thousand people. So they moved into a big, gigantic building. This is a message for me, Bar the Beautiful, and to Pastor Walla and the rest of the congregation of Enon Baptist Tabernacle Church for showing them Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the fall, the Fox pregame show starts at 12. Again, Enon Baptist Tabernacle Church. Pre-game show on Fox starts at 12. Right? That means I got an hour before kickoff. The Eagles play a lot at 1 o'clock. Before service started from 9 to 11.30, it gave me ample time to get home. Now it is further away from my house and service starts at 10. And there's no second service to make us get out of the building. Okay? Understand that? I got to be the heck home, okay? If you run over, I will leave. If we are playing a division rival, I'm not sure exactly what the times are for the Dallas games. It may be four o'clock, it may be one o'clock. Understand, at 12, I'm leaving. You, you had better had offering at that time, because I'm taking my money with me. I have to put it in the collection plate next week. At 12 o'clock, I gotta go. I know we got a big church, there's a lot of singing and everybody's happy and falling out and all that stuff. And I love Jesus Christ. I love him. 12 o'clock, September. I'm leaving. All right, people, shut man, bar, it'll be the fire. I'll let y'all next time on the show, show. Blue fire, you know. And I did not go to the Greek. I just didn't care. Sorry. <laughs>